just to see how these fish react to the different cadence that I'm offering. And it seems like just a slow, steady pace with the odd pause in between is what's triggering those bites. There's a good one. little frog chunk. Oh, nice slab. Can't complain. That's a, that's a short fat fish, eh? Check that out. All right. Let's throw him in the well for some pictures after. Good junk. Buried under the muck. There we go. Come here, buddy. Yeah, just a little one. Sure did slam that frog. There you go, just a little guy. Let him go. The frog action's starting to heat up now and I've noticed it just started to happen right about when the sun came out. I've been out for about an hour, only got a couple of fish, but we'll see what happens now because I think that sun's going to trigger some bites and the fish are going to move around a little bit. Hopefully we can get a couple big blow ups here. What I'll do is when I approach a set of pads, I'll actually pause it in the pads, especially in that open water. You get to that open water, you let the frog kind of bounce around a little bit, and it generally triggers a strike. That's a better size. I'm barely hooked. Oh, that's a good fish. Whew, that is a good fish. I knew it was a matter of time. That's a good bucket right there. That's, uh, that's pushing for for sure. Big gut, nice black back, buried. This guy probably lives in the deep pads most of the year big yap on him. Right on. That's what I'm here for. Put him in the live well with the other one. I've been using these live target frogs and as you can see this one it's just mangled. Cut a pile of fish on it. You just can't go wrong. You really can't. They cast a mile. They float. If they land upside down they'll flip back over. Hooks are strong. I've actually dissected a live target hollow body frog. And it's, it's really interesting to see how they actually assemble these things. What you can do as a little bit of a tip is you can actually pull the hook right out through the body and add a, add a weight to the hook. It's fairly simple to do. You can get some of those sticky tape weights and just wrap it around the hook. I wouldn't put too much on. You almost don't need it because they bounce the frogs so nicely. But if you're looking for additional distance, it might be something to think about. Oh, he's got me tied up. Oh, pulling the boat in. Oh. Yeah, he's still on. 
Oh, it is a giant. He's got 18 pounds of muck on him. Look at the pads. So, okay. Ooh, this is a ride though. There's another one in the, uh, right when, when he hit this frog, another one jumped right beside it. Too bad because he dragged me right in here, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get the other one. Just a little guy. You know what though? Frog fishing? Unbelievable. Doesn't matter where you are, what part of the country, if you have the opportunity to tie on a frog and just crush him, you really can't go wrong.